Six pairs of twins have made the NBA. Brooke and Robin Lopez are probably the best out of the list. But today, I'm creating a new pair of twins whose sole purpose is to dominate the NBA. So let's meet the White brothers, except they're black. Yeah, we have James White and Jackson White, six foot seven twins who are literally identical in every aspect except their play style. You see, James White is a lockdown defender. All he knows is defense, and when it comes to offense, bro's horrible. But for Jackson, he's the complete opposite. He's a scoring machine, but when it comes to defense, he's horrible. So I literally breeded these players to be at the top of the record books in every statistical category. James needs to break every defensive record, and Jackson needs to break every offensive record. And while we're at it, let's go for 12 rings for the pair. Because if I'm not mistaken, Thanasis and Giannis are the only pair of brothers to ever win a ring. So can we break every record and have the greatest twins in NBA history? Well, subscribe to the channel right now because we're going to find out. So as you can see, we are using the Atlanta Hawks for this video. Comment down below if you're a Hawks fan, bro. I got to show some love to Atlanta. They just got the first overall pick and they drafted uh, this guy right here. We have him. This is a zucchini looking guy. Never heard of in my life. Honestly, this draft class was probably the worst ever. No aura, no swag. I don't know any of them. It, it, it was rough. Matter of fact, as I'm recording, Bronny just got drafted. So a hey, shout out to him. Um, it was it was meant to happen. So I made Jackson a shooting guard because he's a bucket getter, and then I wanted to have James White be a lockdown defender, a small forward, so he can guard you know the Tatum's, the LeBrons of the world. And if you look at the rotation, here's how it looks like: Trey Young, Jackson, James, Jalen Johnson, and then uh, Onyeka Nkungwe with Dejounte Murray coming off the bench. And bro, the first overall pick is the. 11th man of the team so yeah i don't know who bro is honestly now if you guys don't know there is another pair of twins currently in the nba we have asar thompson on my detroit pistons and then we have amen thompson who i feel like are gonna have a big year in this upcoming season funny enough they're both also six foot seven so i gotta make sure that we crush them and we you know take the throne as the best brothers in nba history so let's go ahead and simulate uh, up to all-star break for this first season and because this draft class was so weak we're probably gonna win rookie of the year, at least one of them. Hey, bro, so far we are, I'm not, I'm not gonna lie, I didn't think we start off this good. We're uh, 28 and two, hold on, let me just pause real quick. Let me show you guys our actual stats. I feel like I didn't do that yet, but it's really simple. For James White, like I, I made it as accurate as possible with what I'm looking for. His offensive stats are horrible. He can't, he could barely shoot a three point shot. Um, everything else in the 60s, 70s, obviously bad on offense. Defensively, I didn't even max it out. I just made it high 90 overalls. And then athletically, he's gonna be really good, of course, um, durability, all that. But even like for his uh, badges, I gave him silver outside scoring badges, but everything else is unequipped for defending his Hall of Fame. But most importantly, for tendencies, he's not taking a single shot. I made sure that he's not taking any shots, bro. He's just playing defense. Um, so right here, intercepting the ball, on ball steal, stuff like that. And then for Jackson, it's the complete opposite. His offensive game is cooking. You know, he can shoot the ball really well. Defensively, no look at defense at all. Um, and then athletically decent. And when it comes to his tendencies, it's to shoot the ball um, a good amount, you know, from all over the court. So I'm actually curious, we're 30 games in, only two L's and the teams we lost to were the Pacers, barely, right? And then the other team we lost to was the Kings which is interesting. But so far, James White, the defender, he's averaging three points per game, but 12 rebounds, eight assists, two steals, and two blocks. That's really good. And then for Jackson, he's averaging 27 points, and that's it, one assist, and that's literally it. Keep in mind, we have Trey Young, who's putting up 24, DeJounte Murray putting up 20. We're a loaded team. We're definitely a loaded team. And uh, if we could win a ring as rookies, that'd be great. In reality, I think when it's all said and done, it will be the Thompson twins that are gonna be the best twins in NBA history. Like Robin Lopez and Brooke Lopez, they're solid, but I think the Thompson twins, I may be biased, they have a way higher ceiling. Matter of fact, y'all comment down below, who do you think the best twins are? I mean, you don't really have many options. Like I said, there's only six, so it's not really much to work with. We have a chance to make history right here and uh, go 73 and nine. So we're 71 and nine currently, can we finish out the season with two wins? And we do, so we tie the Warriors as rookies. Jokic wins MVP, and James White wins Rookie of the Year. So the lockdown defender only getting three points a game with 12 boards, nine assists, two and two. That's good, that's really good. Lonzo Ball, sixth man of the year, and defensive player goes to the rookie. This, tw this twin is, uh, he's cooking, <laughs> what can I say, man? And Cade Cunningham wins Clutch Player of the Year. This is an interesting sim right here, I gotta admit. Do we have any All-NBA players? Uh, no. So of course, we're gonna be first in the East. I gotta see, how did Jackson do? 
Jackson averaged 27 points on 54% from the field and 44% from the three. He's cooking. We're definitely going to be on pace to be in the record books. Let's just see. In a season, I want to see uh, what's the most points in a season scored. Oh, yeah, it's Wilt's 4,000. We're not going to touch that, but we should probably look closer on defense is what we should look at. Okay, so Elvin Robertson, who I believe was a... I think he played for the Spurs, bro. If my, if my ball knowledge serves me correctly, he played for the Spurs. And then Don Buse, who I think was a Pacers uh, player back in the day. I'm not sure, bro. I'm not sure. I, I always like forget that type of stuff. But yeah, I think Don uh, Buse... But Bussy, but this he? I don't know. But he played for the Pacers. We got to get 300 steals in this season. So let's just see. James White, he averaged two steals a game, two times 82 games. Is that an accurate number? Okay, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a believe 2K on that one. 184 steals and 187 blocks. Okay, he only took 250 shots. Bros petrified to shoot the ball. But can we win a ring in our first season up against the Heat in round one? We might go undefeated on our... Whoa, 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 whoa. We're down 3-0. Hold on, hold on. Huh. Donovan Mitchell, how can we not stop him? We're down 3-0. We're not going to get swept, right? Okay, 3-1. We need uh, Jackson to cook up. Yeah, 36 points. Trailing has 34. DeJounte has 31. And we crushed him by 40 points. Goodness. Game numbers five, we're going to lose. Well, it wasn't enough for some reason. Their whole team cooked up. You know, James not being able to score at all definitely sucks. But he's getting the boards and assists, which is dope. He's like Dennis Rodman that could pass. But in our rookie year, it's going to be the Thunder going all the way as expected. Off to a good start, though. I think we're going to dominate. So in year number two, we were able to keep everyone. I'm surprised that we were able to keep DeJounte Murray and Trey Young. I thought one of them would be gone. Our center is solid. Our power forward, Jalen Johnson. I honestly am not hip to this guy. Um, I just heard of him a couple years ago. But yeah, he's come out on the scene cooking up, which is dope for him. But this is like a legit roster. We should win a championship. We should not be losing ever again. This dude, Zucchini, he didn't even play last season. I mean, what a waste of a pick. Bro, do we have anyone in the audience from France? If you are from France, comment down below. Bro, everyone is from the Philippines. I saw it in the last video and I said comment down below, which is dope, man. We have a diverse uh, audience over here. But France has been just, you know, spamming players into the draft and it's been working for them. I do got to see our rivals, the Thompson Twins. How did they do? Last season, a star had nine points, six rebounds, three assists. We're just running laps around him. And then Amen, he only had 10, eight, and five. You know, 2K loves the Hawks. So, oh, whoa, we got crushed by the Pelicans. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Zion had 35, barely missing. Okay. Yeah, no, 2K glazes the Hawks. So I'm assuming we're going to win at least five championships. And I do want to see if we can get James White to be a defensive player of the year and MVP. Like what's the lowest amount of points per game you can average and still win MVP? I don't know. That's like Rudy Gobert winning MVP. Like it's never going to happen. But in a 2K sim, you never know. Wemby wins MVP. We got Bub Carrington. There's no way someone named their kid Bub. Bub? Really? That's like, there's no way anyone named their kid B-U-B Bub. Unless that's short for like, no, what would Bub be for, short for? That's a crazy name, bro. Hey, if all my Bubs out there, that just sounds, it just sounds fruity. I'm not gonna lie, it just sounds fruity, but whatever. Jonathan Murray wins sixth man of the year. Um, James White, back-to-back -back defensive player of the year awards. His stats kind of went down. His free throw percentage is wicked. And then uh, most improved is Matt Bozo. So I don't know, man. Cade Cunningham, he's apparently the clutchest player of all time, winning back-to-back -back awards. Uh, how are the Pistons doing is the better question. Do we win any All-NBA awards? Absolutely not. But we're back as a first seed. Did our record get better? And no, 68 and 14. Still best in the league by far. That man Jackson averaged 28 points this season. I like that he doesn't pass the ball. He's like Michael Porter Jr. with a green light and also gets a lot of possessions where the you know the offense is, is, is revolved around him. Trey Young dipped. That's hilarious, bro. Trey Young dip mid-season. I didn't even realize that. Where did he go to? Well, who do we who do we pick up that's new? We got Robin Williams. So, okay, Portland, Atlanta. That means he went to the Trailblazers. Wait a second. Trey Young went to the Portland Trailblazers. There's no way we just traded him for a center, right? There's no way. I think we deadass just got Robin Williams for Trey Young. That's the worst trade of all time. Dude, what, what is it? What is our GM smoking? Oh, we got Malcolm Brogdon too. Okay, okay, that's valid. It's not valid. It was a stupid trade. What an idiot. But it's all good. I mean, at this point, we have so many 90 and 80 overall players, like almost every player on the team. It's, it's dope. But when it comes to league leaders, Jackson has uh, some ways to go still because Luke is averaging 31 points. When it comes to steals per game, yeah, somehow Wemby's still getting two. 
blocks were probably not going to out block a 7-4 guy and a 7-1 and 7-1 guys so I can live with that but we have so much size man we got three good centers a power forward I feel like we should make Jackson probably not a point guard I mean I guess Tyce Jones is a great point guard for this team anyway if he fits in perfectly so we should win the championship this season round one we take that in six it should have been a sweep then we're up against the Knicks who if you guys don't know if you guys aren't keeping up to date they just picked up uh, Mikhail Bridges, and they got rid of him, apparently. I do not see him on this team. I see the cum bucket, but I does that mean he went to the to the Warriors? Bro, this is like accurate rosters. I don't know why. Yeah, Mikhail's not even on the Nets anymore. He's on the Orlando Magic. That's interesting. Okay. Oh, by the way, I have a question for y'all. Uh, for my Pistons fans out there, this dude, Ron Holland, we drafted him. Is he any good? From what I heard, he can't shoot the ball, so we just have a whole team of players that can't shoot. Um, yeah, thank God I moved and became a Dallas Mavericks fan. But yeah, this team is, I guess they're getting better. Hey, bro, let's just go ahead and win our first chip. Enough yapping. Round two is actually being a tough one. We win it in six. Jackson had 35 points. He's cooking. Now we're up against the Cleveland Cavaliers. We couldn't beat them last year. This year we swept them. There we go, man. And we are up against the OKC Thunder. So we're going to have to hop into a game here for sure. Game number one. Shade drop 44, 10, and 11. Goodness. All right, let's just hop into each game moving forward for this uh, first final series. Oh, this one's a close one. It's a close back and forth game. I think we can take it, but just to be safe, I'm going to hop in right here. We're down by two. Jackson right now has 41 points. Yeah, he's on fire. It's a good thing we have all these scores. DeJounte Murray, Jalen Johnson, you know, everyone's a star on this team. And I believe number zero is Jackson, and then zero, zero is James. I... I Made it more complicated than it should have been. We got Topic giving it to Chet. Back to Topic, who's already a star, bro. I didn't really realize he's that good. He's gonna get a screen by Jalen Williams. And in the paint, we're playing lockdown defense. Look at this defense right there. Horrible shot, and he still drained it. So just to clarify, Jackson is the one with zero with one zero, and then James has two zeros. So there we go. So this is the scoring machine right here. Down by four. We need him to get to 50 points. Keep attacking him. Yes, sir. Step back. Oh, you should have shot it. John Murray is going to take Shea Gilgis. Attacking. He's playing lockdown defense. We're going up, and we hit the lane. Defense is where we need Jackson to guard on Shea, or James to guard on Shea. And I, and I see him guarding Lou Dort instead. That's a bad, bad matchup. Shea's going to cook. Step back on the and Kongwe. Chet contested. He misses it. Let's go, James. Give it to your twin brother. Yes, sir. Hand off to him. Jackson pull up for a three, and he missed it. Put back on Yeka. He missed it too. No. Damn. No, 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 no. Shea. Good defense. Good defense. Yo, my God. Caruso dunking on James, bro. I thought we would have got like a block or something because he's a lockdown defender, but it's still a four-point game. Tice Jones using that screen. Pass off to James. He can't shoot. He got in the corner. Oh, nice pass to Jalen. Oh, my God. Contested. Bang. Let's go. It's a two-point game with under a minute left. This is huge, bro. We do not want to lose two games at our home court. Caruso's going to use that screen, but we're on that. Look at Jackson playing defense. That's not even his build. Chet Holmgren, catch and shoot. He missed it. Good board. 30 seconds left. Let's go. Tyce Jones to Onyeka Nkongwe. Okay. Jackson has the ball in his hand. Use that screen. Pull up. Three. Oh, you what a dumb shot. What an idiot. He had the paint, but took a contested three instead. And then and Yaka and Kongwe fouled out. So we do have two timeouts. There is 20 seconds left. So we have to be smart here. A three would be great, but let's not take any contested threes like before. Jalen Johnson to Jackson in the paint. He's going to miss the layup. He sold. No, bro. He sold. Taking dumb shots. And just like that, we lost game two, the NBA finals. Goodness, man. 17 for 31. Jeez. So we're currently down 0-2. Let's not make it 0-3. Okay. We took that game. Luckily, Jackson had 40. Way to bounce back. Can we tie the series? Yes, we tied this series. We're cooking. I like this. I'm going to hop in this game right here. If we had Trey Young, bro, we would have crushed him by now. I still don't understand that trade. But we have a ball game. It's a 10-point game. Ooh, six point. Wait a minute. It's a tie ball. I'm hopping in. And we sub in with Jackson hitting a free throw to take the lead now with two minutes left. Can we end up going 3-2 back at home? We got uh, Kaysan Wallace, I think is his name. He's going to... Oh, what a pass. Yo, that was clean. Can't lie, that was clean. Let's go. Good screen. Do the same thing. Oh, step back three. You think you're Curry? You are, bro. Jackson with the nasty step back right there. That's why I like making this build for him. And, uh, you know, he's taking care of the offense. 
And then we got James. I don't, I just, I need to switch that matchup, bro. I don't want Tyce Jones guarding a 6-6 Shea Gilgis Alexander for that reason right there. Is there a way I can switch the matchup? Uh, no, I can't. I just have to watch and it's all good. We're gonna have James right there with the rock attacking and he gets, oh my God, sent back to Vietnam. He's not even from Vietnam. I don't know why I said that, but hey, it's all good. They're gonna double team, contest it. It don't matter. That's a bad shot, it's a bad shot. And we're back in a similar situation. Tie ball game with a minute left. Things are gonna get good. Shea, pass off to Jalen, pass back to Shea. This defense is horrible, bro. Wide open layup. We gotta take the lead, man. I want a three. Don't take that shot, bro. What is wrong with you? Bro's taking any shot he can get. Tyce Jones, catch and shoot. Hey, big shot right there. It was 50% contested. Hey, that, that veteran leadership paying off. Play some good defense. We need help in the paint. Yo, we traded for three centers and we have no paint presence. What is that about? Let's go. It's a one point game. We get a bucky. Oh, what a move by Jackson. Yo, yo, his bag is different. His bag is different, bro. Between the like step back like that. Let's go. Caruso in the corner. We're on that. We're on that. Yes, sir. Yo, yo. Chat. Get that out of here. Good defense by It's our ball too. That's Clint Capella. I'm an idiot. Are they gonna challenge that or no? I would challenge it if I was a Thunder. They didn't challenge it. Wow. Let's just see ourselves. Chet, he goes up. Clint gets a hand on it. And it was definitely out on Clint Capella. Yo, yo, it was definitely out on Clint Capella. That's hilarious. We got blessed. Shout out to the, to the, to the script. The script writers were cooking. And now we just need Jackson to hit his free throws, and that's going to, you know, give us that 3-2 lead. But you know 2K. They're going to for sure hit a three-pointer to send it into OT. I already know how this game works. Yup, Jalen with four-point play. What did I fucking say? Four-point play. I know how this game works, man. Jalen Williams. I knew it was too good to be true. Come on, dog. We really fouled him on that? Oh my, I, I literally, oh, I knew it. Okay, bet, here we go. Seven seconds left, Jackson, you can take the game right here. This will be a legendary moment. You gotta take it. Oh my God, you sold again. Well, we're down uh, two, three. Why are you dapping him up? You fouled him on a four point play. What are you dapping him up for, dumbass? Dude, I'm sorry for, the, for my French, but like that was irritating. Dude, we had 37 points. This dude, James had eight turnovers. What are you doing? Don't touch the rock anymore. We're still in our second season, bro. It's still only our second year and this much drama is happening. We're gonna have a very interesting career and we're on the road for this game. I do not want to let them win the championship on their home court, but on four, oh, 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 wait a minute, wait a minute. Wait a minute, four point game, two minutes left. We just need to hold up on defense and we are gonna be chilling. Good paint presence, do not leave Chet open in the corner, bro, come on. We know that nobody is safe, no team is safe in a 2K sim. Yo, you're fading for what? Just set your feet and get a good shot. I don't know why he thinks he's like, I don't know, he thinks he's Kobe every possession. Shea's gonna attack, Shea's pulling up and he misses. Good re, kick out to Kaysan Wallace. That could have been rough. DeJounte Murray with the Hezzy move. We're just running the offense through Jackson, man. DeJounte's not getting his touches. It's just Jackson, and he's been bricking. Guard up, guard up. Good defense using our size right there. Jalen Johnson, you'd love to see it. Still only up by one with a minute left. DeJounte Murray, it's okay to be selfish. You don't gotta give it to him, but that was a good shot. Shea could easily, you know, step back three in our face if he wanted to. We have no defense, remember that. But instead, Kaysan in the corner, and he drills it, bro. We can't lose like this. We had a good lead. 40 seconds left, just need a bucket. Don't need a force of three though, brother. Don't do it, don't do it, he, he did it, he did it. Why do you do it, bro, what's wrong with you? Bro has like the Julian Newman shot tendency. I don't know what's wrong with him, but we can get the ball back. If we get a board, get a stop and a rebound, we will get the ball back. Shea, kick out to Chet for a midi, feet on the line, it was a two. This is it, once again, same, same position. We, I think we should go for a three. Let's just take the game, let's just hit a game winner. Go into game seven with, with that type of energy. Don't settle for a two. Seven seconds left, it is time to make our move. Good screen by Capella, fading. Yes, let's go. Big shot, Jackson. Hey, that's clutch right there. Making up for those other games where we messed up. That was huge. Now with 2.6 seconds left, I already know what's gonna happen, bro. Inbound to check, game winner. Just watch. Inbound to check, game winner. Or, or Jalen Williams from the four point. No! <laughs> Why? What's wrong with you, Jalen Johnson? This dude has like some sort of deal with DraftKings 
and he's just messing up the bag. I don't know. I don't understand it. You didn't need a. That was that was the dumbest foul in NBA history. You cost yourself a championship. Oh my god, bro. And we have no timeouts left, so we're down by two points. No timeouts left. We need a full court shot. Jackson, full court shot. Can it go in? <laughs> No, no, dude, no, man, we lost like that. Damn, bro, that would have been nuts. What a final series. I'm glad we happened in those games. What a horrible ending. This dude, Jalen Johnson, I'm cutting him from the team. I, pro I swear to God, I'm cutting him from the team. He's a cancer to the team. I'm telling you, next season is going to come out breaking news. He, he's going to be caught up like Jonte Porter, bro. He has some sort of deal with the, with the mafia. What an idiot, bro. You're an idiot. So you're number three, and the good news is Jalen Johnson is a 92 overall, so we're going to get some good trade value from him. I was not joking around. I'm getting him out of here. I do not like, bro. Every video moving forward, Jalen Johnson is an op for what he just did back-to-back -back games fouling on a four-point play what an idiot i'm not getting this zesty tiktoker on my team either let's get some real talent bro um we don't need a point we do need a point guard i would i would take kobe white i would take kobe white or jaron jackson jr so we have even more defense at power forward yeah i think a power forward would make sense to go for we have a lot of good options wait a minute yeah we get trey young back yeah idiots bro i don't know what, what they were thinking we could get a man thompson and have and then a star thompson later and get you know two two twins for the storyline that could go hard but he's not a good fit for the team i think our best option is jaron jackson he averaged 14 points um and then honestly no his stats aren't impressive damn bro what the heck no way we get back trey young right would that be stupid i feel like that'd be stupid i feel like we have to do it though we need a point guard that can score bro i'm sorry uh what yeah horrible horrible trades that we've done but we already have a nick on kungway and robin williams so and then this dude zucchini how's he been doing he's been really quiet what a waste of a pick, but it's all good, bro. Let's just run it back. And we are going to win 72 games, 10 losses. Wembenyama's going to win MVP. But we got our Defensive Player of the Year award, which is uh, good. He's, his points per game is going up, too. Going to 4.9 and then 2.7 steals, man. Hey, if we, if we could last 20 seasons in the NBA, we will definitely be in the record books. And Trey Young and James White, the lockdown defender. A lockdown defender being all NBA second team is sensational, bro. That's like Joakim Noah type beat, you know? Is Jackson here? He's not. I want to get both brothers in here. That's another goal. But uh, now we are going to be in the same position. Trey Young averaged 27. He came back and had a career year with us, um, which is dope. My boy Jackson had 28 again. DeJounte with 19. Onyeka with 10. And Robin with 5. Okay, this should be an easy run to the finals and an easy sweep against the Thunder is my prediction. So, okay. The Cavaliers, man, who do they have? There is no way this team is... is doing damage to us like that there's no way i'm taking that absolutely not game seven i'm not even hopping in i was gonna say we can't lose to that Cavs team brother weak but now back to back against the thunder and can we take them three one let's hop in got to make sure no funny business happens you know getting rid of jalen johnson seemed to work but we have a chance to win the championship on our home court in front of all of atlanta quavo future uh, not Young Thug, because he's probably in jail currently, unfortunately, Free Thug. But, you know, Quavo. Let's go, man. Jackson, cook up. You've already played against these guys plenty of times. You know what to do. Good move. You didn't have to shoot that, though. You could have attacked the paint. Bro is too scared to dunk it. He also wants to do, like, the mid-range shots. And that's going to cost us, I feel like. Chet, laying it up with ease. Go fast break time. Trey Young. You could just pull up for a three. Uh, good screen by... I think that's, I think that's uh, the Ricochet guy. Yeah, Ricochet. Let's go. Go in the paint. That's a mismatch, bro. You got the size advantage, and you pass it off to Jackson. Hop step on a 7-1 guy, and he got blocked, of course. And he got the ball back, and he goes up again. Yo, he will not stop shooting. I respect it, bro. <laughs> this guy is legitimately Dion Waiters. Shea, back to Chet. Chet, open three. He missed it. It actually wasn't open. It was a good contest. But let's go. Good pass right there to DeAndre Hunter with the left hand lay. Let's go, baby. Five point game. The question is, who's going to win finals MVP? Will it be Trey Young or will it be Jackson White? I don't know. Or will it be James? I, you never know. Good attack. Draw on the foul. So continue simulation and we end up... I thought we were going to blood again somehow. We end up winning by five points. Trey Young had 35 going seven for 19 just like Jackson. And they both made all the free throws. So, hey, make your bets right now. Who do you think is going to win it? I feel like Trey Young, I feel like Ronnie 2K and Trey Young, like, glaze each other. The video, ah, I was, I was wrong. It was Jackson White. My fault. Take back what I said. You know, Ronnie at Community Day, do not uh, take that to heart. But look, game number one, Jackson had 47 points. Sub. Game number two, he had 30. Game number three, he had 51 points. Then he had 41. And then in game five, he had 27. He definitely earned it. So, hey. 
the first twin ends up winning the finals MVP, and in year three, we get our first ring. Off to a great career. I like what I'm seeing. Also, shout out to you guys on PlayStation, man. Uh, I always get these messages of like, yo, big fan and everything. So I appreciate all the love for real, for real. Um, you know, I always appreciate that. I never, never take it for granted. You know, I appreciate every single one of y'all. You know, not to sound corny and stuff, but like, I really mean it. Now we're in year number four. They're both 94 overalls. They're still only 22 years old, the same age as your boy, me. And their contract is also the same. So they're, like, everything about them is the same, except their play style. It's quite magnificent. Now the thing is, we picked up Ronnie James in the offseason. That's funny. He didn't play at all in Indiana, but we lost Trey Young once again. So that's really convenient. We got Becky Hammonds on the team. Yeah, this team is, it, it took a dip. Do I make this trade ricochet for Jaquiz? I don't know. I mean, Jaquiz is averaging 15, Ricochet is aver averaging 12, 6'9 versus 6'6, 230 pounds versus 204. I don't know. I'm gonna keep Ricochet just because he's younger by four years. So I'm gonna just keep him for now. We'll see what this team can do. Yo, bro, so once again, we get James White being all NBA. It's crazy that Jared McCain's here, bro. That's actually insane. Um, but Bronny's also all NBA as 83 overall. How is Jackson not here? He's the one getting the points, but hey, defense is, is was valued over here. I respect it. He averaged 30 points, dog. Come on, give him all NBA. Now y'all gotta give him all NBA. That's 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 horrible. This is his first year being an all-star. Or no, he wasn't even an all-star this year. In 2028, he was not an all-star. That's gotta be racist. No, it can't be racist because they gave his brother all NBA. Okay, um, I don't know. I don't know I was grasping at there. Dude, yeah, no, how was, okay, James is an all-star. <laughs> I don't know. That's crazy, man. That's actually wild to me that they didn't give both of them an all-star. Weird. I guess they can only choose one of them, only uh, one of the brothers. And we are back to the finals against the Thunder. Are we going back to back? Yes, sir. And James White wins finals MVP. So both brothers won finals MVP. That's awesome. He only averaged five points, but he got 12 boards, 10 assists, three steals, and two blocks. That's what I'm talking about, man. Let's keep it going. Let's try to get one of them to win an MVP. So many players retired this season that, yeah, there's more room for us to dominate, but these players are just falling off their overalls. Let's see, did all of them make it? Four of them made it, which means did Kai Okay, who didn't make who, who did make it? Kevin Love didn't make it. I think Kevin Love and Kyle Lowry are Hall of Famers, in my opinion. And the same thing with Paul George. He didn't make it either. That's that's so oh he did. I'm I'm blind, sorry. Oh yeah, by the way, Bronny went from not playing at all last season to averaging uh 20 points per game, which is kind of nuts. Just wanted to point that out. Bro, now we got Rob Dillingham being all NBA first team on the Warriors. Hey man, I'm not too familiar with this game. I know he's shifty, but like, I know he got traded to the Timberwolves in real life. We got Bronny and James White back as all NBA second team. And then Jalen Johnson. Whoa, bro's a 95 overall. Wow, this dude turned into a superstar. Okay, interesting. Well, the Spurs are the first seed in the West. And this season, Jackson averaged 30 points again. Did he make an all-star team or are they still home, my bro? Okay, they're still home, my bro. That's tough, that's tough. Don't know what to do about that. And Yaku's only 28 years old. This is a good young core. Like that's why we're cooking. So like the whole 12 rings thing is possible and we can win our third right here. We are going to three-peat against the Spurs. Yes, sir. James White, back-to-back -back finals MVP. We're cooking. Hey, do y'all wanna see a video with triplets? I know the Holiday Brothers aren't all triplets, but if you wanna see triplets, let me know, bro. I feel like that'd be a dope video. You know, take this a step further. 2,000 likes and I'll do it. I'll just set a goal. If I'm being real, I'll probably still do it regardless, but just, dude, look at, look so far. After five seasons, look at bro's resume. Stuff, absolutely stuff, man. All-stars, finals MVP, defensive player awards, all NBA teams, and then you got Jackson with just, you know, the ch championships and one all-star, which is still solid. And then I wanna see if we're currently anywhere in the record books at all. Whoa, bro, James White got 11 blocks in a playoff game. That's nuts. That's very, very nuts, bro, to get 11 blocks at six foot seven. Here we go, we finally, yo, this is the first time ever where I've actually seen a player get the Clutch Player of the Year award that I created. 38 points per, yo, whoa, 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 whoa. 38 points per game and bro didn't win MVP? Seriously, 2K? Bro, that's insane levels of hoeing him. 39 points per game and he didn't win MVP. Not even Jordan could do that in his peak, bro. I don't think anyone's ever got 39 points per game in their life. He's all NBA first team at least, so he finally made all NBA and his brother's all NBA second team. So there we go. They all uh, reached that before, which is good to see. That's disgusting though, bro. No, 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 no. I'm actually, I'm actually kind of heated about that. We had a career year with James White too. He averaged 11, 11, and three steals. But I gotta see, all time, bro, Wilt doesn't count. He's not a real player. 
But yeah, yo, 38.7 points puts us at number one of real people all time. That's history. That's definitely a great record to break. And then steals per game, we are somehow not there. I guess 3.000, whatever. Whatever. It's all good. Hey, man, let's four-peat. No team has ever four-peated in the world, so we're going to be the first to do it. Ain't that right? Twins doing it, by the way. Yes, sir. The first twin. 50, oh, come on, man. Give him his flowers. 50 points per game. Game one, he had 50. Then he had 40. Then he had 48. Then he had 43. And in game five, my guy has 66 points. This is insane. My game just crashed, and I really hope I didn't lose my entire file. I'm going to be pissed. Bro, no. My game keeps crashing. I feel like they're limiting me to not advance past this point, bro. These twins are too powerful. They literally are breaking the game. <laughs> no, bro. We can't end like this. We really can't. I don't think we have a choice, bro. I think we literally broke the game. These twins were too powerful that 2K does not want us to continue. So I think we're forced to retire here, man, to end the video here. After six years pro, it's it. 2K does not want us to continue. So if y'all want to see a part two to this, drop a like and comment down below, and we'll, we'll try to bring these guys back. But for those that are curious about on their stats, so far after six years, just to see, they were on pace to break the record, bro. After six years, bro had 15,000 points. Do the math. That means after 18 years, he would have had 45,000 points. And he would have broke the records on offense. And then, obviously, for James White on defense, he was on pace to break everything. But what's so crazy is that in six years, they won four championships in a row. And he won six DPOYs. So if y'all want to see a part two of this, y'all know what to do, man. I will catch you guys soon. Check this video out for now. Peace.